Welcome to my journey, my frugal journey, my garden journey, my frugal garden journey, whatever you want to call it. Today, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we're making pickles again. These are not just any pickles. These are my mama's pickles. These are her bread and butter pickles. The pickles I grew up on. <sighs> but, okay. So, I took this from her notebook. She kept a composition book. I guess that's where I get it from. <laughs> and wrote her recipes. So she wrote this. But if you can see, I copied it because I didn't want to mess up the actual book. But look at the stains all around it. What's that tell you? When you see a recipe page with stains on it, what's that tell you? It's well loved. And I will say, me and Holly, I think I already said it when I showed you the pickles at the end, but I'm gonna tell you now, there was just a, I mean, just a little, bit left at the end that just would not go in that last jar was going to be too much. So me and Holly were like, well, we'll taste them. They said that we'll taste them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> perfect. They are perfect. They're mama's pickles. They're perfect pickles. I love them. We got um, 11 jars out of, you'll see how many cucumbers we had. Holly, she's been, um, getting some in the morning and the night. I tell you, they grow over during the day. She'll get it at night. Overnight, they grow and she'll get some more. <laughs> so we had a lot of cucumbers. And then it stretched it because, you know, you always use onions with bread and butter pickles. So anyway, they're delicious. Just as good as I remember them. So I hope my mom is proud of what I'm doing today, representing her. So let's just turn around and get started making some bread and butter pickles. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we got to slice our cucumbers and you can see we're doing the seven millimeter. So that is, say good morning. Good morning. That is Holly's job. My job is the onions and this is how I want them. I want them cut the onion in half and then slice it and then cut it in half this way because I want, I don't want big long strings. I just want these. I mean, I've had bread and butter with the big long strings, but I, I think I like these better. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them apart and I'm just going to throw them in the, in the bowl over here with the um, cucumbers because these have to soak in water for three hours. No alum or no salt. I don't believe I read salt. I'll have to look at it again. But anyway, this, I'll, I'll um, put it on the screen if it takes salt for three hours. Okay, here we got two bowls. You need more deuce? Oh, you got deuce in there. Feel it. Shake it. What? T tell mommy to put you some more deuce in there. It's that um, same like. Sorry about that. But, what does Joan say? Real life? Here you go. We got it too. So you do have to put salt. Since I divided these into two bowls, it's a half a cup of salt for the whole thing. I put a quarter cup here and a quarter cup there. And then we just have to cover them with water. So I will just put enough water. I'll get my hands. Oh, that might be enough right there. I'll get my hands down in there and get that salt. Um, oh, onion smells so good. Get that salt dissolved. And then, oh, did I tell you they have to sit for three hours? So that's what we're going to do. And I think I'm going to have to get out more jars than I did. I feel like I'm going to have to do two um, batches. But you know what? That's good because I like me some bread and butter pickles. But we had to try from Mama's recipe that says 10 to 20 medium cucumbers. We weren't sure what kind of cucumbers and what medium meant. And eight large onions. So I just kind of went with what looked good with the onions. With that big bowl of cucumbers, I did six large onions. And this is how much we got, this and this. So I think that might be um, pretty doggone close to what she did for her recipe. So see you in three hours. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start our vinegar solution. And I had to get out my big counter pot because I don't have a pot big enough for all the liquid and all the vegetables. I just don't. So we're going to start this. The jars are warming. By the time our three hours is up, this should be um, ready to go. So we need five cups of apple cider vinegar. Five 
five cups of sugar. And let me read the recipe to make sure I don't mess up. Let's see. Two tablespoons of mustard seeds. Well, I can't. What is bread and butter without mustard seeds, right? So two tablespoons of that. A teaspoon of turmeric. I don't know if I say it right, but it's um, ground turmeric. Teaspoon of that. And then half a teaspoon of cloves. What that will fit in there. It's not very many, but I guess it gives it enough flavor. Not enough to go in each jar. And then we're going to cook this. I had a spoon somewhere, I thought. We're going to cook this till it boils. And then we'll go to the next step. But we need to go ahead and get it because it's so much bigger than my burner. And our time is almost up, so we're going to start this cooking. All right, our vinegar is boiling. And we've drained our cucumbers and onions. Holly's working on the other batch. And we need to heat them through, but not boil them. So when I get these in here, I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm trying to not get any excess water from when I drained them. Let me use that. This is the coolest thing my mama got me. She got it from Timu. And I thought, Lord, what am I going to use that for? And it dawned on me. I'm going to use it for canning. It's going to be perfect for when we're peeling the tomatoes to can. Scooping them out of the boiling water. This going to work perfect for that. Oh, the onion's making me cry. <laughs> Baby girl's crying over here. <laughs> Scooping them out really, really did it. Okay. Now, like I said, we don't want to boil this, but we want to get everything good and heated through. And since it's hard to decipher her recipe, 20 to 30 medium cucumbers. We're doing the cucumbers we had. And if it comes up that this is not enough liquid, which I feel like it's not, because I feel like we got more cucumbers than her recipe states. I just feel like we do. I could be wrong. But if there's not enough vinegar, I will just make another batch. So, stay tuned for that. I have both canners going at the last minute. I'm like, oh, I meant to think I wanted to do that second one. So, Holly run down there and got it. We got the jars warming up so we'll have both canners see I feel like I don't have enough right now to get everything down in there so I feel like I'm not gonna have enough to go in the jars I could be wrong this is my first time making it but I'm gonna tell you what it smells so good in here don't it Holly mm -hmm. so let me let this just kind of start to simmer and then I'm gonna turn the heat off Okay, I don't know if you can see, you really can't tell on camera, it is starting to want to come up to the ball. So I'll turn the heat off because it says do not do that. So let's slide over here. Okay, Holly has brought my jars over. Now what I want to do is fill them first with cucumbers without liquid to see how many I can get down in the jar. I wish y'all could smell this. I don't know. There's a lot going in this jar, Holly. We might not have yeah. as... Now, I was looking at another um, bread and butter recipe. And it said leave a inch headspace. So, let's see. That is an inch. Okay, by the time I get the liquid in there, let's see 
how that looks. I'm curious as to how much liquid we're going to need. He's coming out. Sebastian, honey, come in here. That's an inch, but I need just a hair's worth of liquid. Okay. Then we want to, because we already did the bubbles, and seal and twist. And there we have have it that will go over in the canner so let me just continue on holly's going to help me we're going to take turns so see you back when they're done oh they're going to go for 10 minutes in the water bath okay we got something in the background but that's sebastian so we'll ignore it so here we go we got 11 pints and i'm going to be the one to tell you they're delicious mama hooked us up there was a little bit, just a little bit for just a tiny little bowl for it just would not fit in that last jar. So me and Holly tasted them and oh yeah, out of the park. <laughs> My mom pulled through. So that is the end of this video. That's probably the end of the pickle video because I don't think of anything new that I want to make. If I make any more, it'll be more of the frying pickles. And you've already seen that, so... If you're tired of the pickle videos, this will probably be the last one. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you when I see you.